Okay, in this example, we're going to look at finding the volume of a sphere. In a separate one, we'll find the surface area. So the volume is simply 4 thirds times pi times the cube of the radius. The surface area is going to be 4 pi times the square of the radius. So nothing too terrible. So we're going to find the volume of a sphere with a radius of 6.2 meters, both in terms of pi and also uh, by approximating pi with 3.14. So it says the volume is 4 thirds times pi times the cube of the radius. So we'll have to take 6.2 cubed. So let's see. Um, 6.2 cubed. I'm getting that to be 238.328. And I think I'm going to start rounding this to the nearest hundredth. 4 thirds is 1.333 repeating. So this is now going to be approximately equal to, so 4 thirds will approximate that as 1.33. We still have pi in there. And then we've got 238 point, if we round to the nearest hundredth, we'll have 2.38.33. So let's see, um, 1.33 times 238.33, I'm getting, again, I'm going to round, so 316.9, I'm getting 978, so I'm going to make that 98, and then we can multiply that by pi, so I'm going to make my little equal signs a little curvy just to indicate that we're approximating. So that would be our solution in terms of pi. Well, if we actually uh, change that, if we change pi into uh, 3.14, let's see, so 316.98 multiplied by 3.14, I'm getting this to equal 995.3172. And again, if we round to the nearest hundredth, because of the seven, we'll have to round the, uh, the hundredths digit up one. So we'll have 995.32. And again, since we started our original units were in terms of meters, it says our units will be in terms of cubic meters, since we're finding a volume, a three-dimensional uh, three volume here.